Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media Part 29 Runs, Part 2. In today's episode, we set out to do several things. We wanted to make what we call a flying score animation. Uh, and that's what we did. And we're kind of naming it flying score art at the moment. So we updated our composition, what we're calling the shadow triptych. We had to do a little tweaking down here. We had to re-record it and re-record the video from yesterday, which was called uh, the very exciting No Spaces Plus Backbone Plus Pulse video. And today we're calling it the new version, the flying score video. So in order to do that, we actually had to make a recording of the, the flying score, which we did. It's one of our source files down here, this one. So we recorded that. And then we were kind of still kind of grumbly about how our charts looked. And we spent some time on that, quite a bit of time, as it turns out. And we ended up f figure, figuring out all kind of new stuff about working with Google Doc charts. But we, the bottom line is right here where it says root notes, roll notes are blue and rolls per hop are, uh, are red. We got that. We got that to work. We got that legend to work and we had to fiddle quite a bit with it. And it looked great. So we, we made fresh copies of those graphics there and, uh, and exported them and brought them down and then we used a new tool uh, Microsoft image it's actually an old tool that we've used for years from our old days doing websites and it automatically takes out the extra transparency around the edges there so we got a perfectly cropped files in here which you see this here how that has a lot of white transparent space around it but when we look at this one it's not it's perfect it's perfect there's there's no stuff around it yay and so what we wanted to do was to make a movie animation a second version that featured uh, rather than what we were doing here which was um, kind of doing a lot of glitzy um, starfield stuff which looks cool we have to admit we wanted to this time feature the music itself showing the score with the video that starts running the minute you change to look at it and then showing off the six four and the six note structures and in order that we are always have to use a playlist because we have to begin on a blank panel a blank panel this one and then the minute you jump into the flying score the video takes off running and then we have to edit the, the playlist to start uh, we gave it a two second lead in and then it Anyway, we learned how to synchronize that in the last couple of videos we did like this. So our next step here is uh, we'll play for you. I guess we'll play for you what some of this looks like. Oh, to be honest, it's not, it's, it, you've seen it, but we'll play it anyway. In fact, we'll play for you the, the, the one we rendered and you'll see that what was to us the big difference um, go to the source project here see the big difference to us that's why I'm going to re-render the flying score movie here it is shadow triptych flying score the big difference to us is when you look see the red uh, the blue and the red here the labels it's telling you what the blue and the red are uh, whereas here it doesn't We had to punt because we couldn't figure out how to make these things show legends, which today we did. And so we just said, hey, blue is the roll, red is the roll for hop. But the trouble with that is, why is this blue and red? And, and what, you know, it just, it's visually distracting. If, if we're going to have colors on a visual composition, they should have some relationship, you know. 
uh, anyway, so that's that. The other thing we like about this is this is saying, hey, we have a six note scale on the left hand side and a six note scale on the right hand side. And we're going, yeah, what does that mean? And a four note. Oh, there's something smaller in the middle. So we have a triptych. We have three panels. And then when you look at the, the actual score down here, the flying score, the upper line is corresponding to the left panel. And then if we move forward a little bit, move forward a little bit, right over here, you see we're going to end up coming into the middle panel. Any moment now. So, and then that continues on, and then you come over here, and all of a sudden we're in the right-hand panel. And then here you see the hop figures, five of them, and, and that's saying, hey, there's hop figures right there, and hop notes per figure, and this is the hop, uh, what is that, the hop one? It says it, oh, well, the trouble is the annotation runs out on us up here, so. The, we had, you know, this is at a 50% reduction, and, and the flying score, you know, well, I wish we could do more. We're still working on that. So we're still chuffed because we figured out several things that were defeating us previously. So our ideas for next time are ideas for next time. Work further with the animation. If EG uh, connect the charts to the score somehow visually um, and then whatever else comes up now frankly we're still looking at okay that one we got pretty much done so we're going to keep carrying these these ideas these basically are these ideas are carry forward ideas um, pick more from the following so like that so that's that's the game plan and we do have a shout out today we appreciate the um little debt thank you for your comments and suggestions and we look forward to seeing you all in the next episode stay tuned and as always, keep on streaming.